Hey, what's going on everybody? We're taking a look at how to show doors in a reflected ceiling plan. So in front of you, what you see is I have a reflected ceiling plan um, for my level one. The first thing I need to do here is go to my visibility uh, graphics over here in the properties panel. And I'm gonna go down to view range under extents and click on edit. In here, I can go to set my cut plane so I would go and change this cut plane. It defaults at seven foot six. I want you to see what shows. So a lot of my doors are seven foot four, then get cut out of this reflected ceiling plan. So I've modified this to uh, seven two, just to be able to see the frame of the door uh, in that uh, cut plane. And then from here, what I need to do is I need to hide the door swing and the thickness of the door panel. Uh, so that way just the uh, the cut is open on where the doors are located, but we're not really interested in seeing those door swings in a reflected ceiling plan. So you do the shortcut VV, so I'm literally out of all my commands hitting escape, and then I press the keyboard VV, and with VV pressed, I'm going to go down to doors and expand that. And you'll see I've unchecked panel and swing. And I want you to see what happens when I apply that back on. So this is what's showing by default by cutting through my door. But in a reflected ceiling plan, I'm not interested in seeing the panel or the plan swing. I'm going to apply that and say OK. And now I have my reflected ceiling plan uh, annotated with the uh, doors done correctly. And if I want to go through and make sure that um, you know all my windows are done, uh, right, I can also make sure that you know those are all being shown uh, at the correct height. And in this one, at this level, it's earth sheltered on one side, and so there's really no low windows in this one, um, other than the curtain wall on the south side facing part of the structure. All right, don't forget to save and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.